Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I'm going to answer a member question about does Power BI visualize graph data or a graph network? Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right. Dims and Facts, who's a member of the Guy in a Cube channel, shout out to you and also shout out to the members who help support this channel. You can hit the join button down below to learn more about that. Dims and Facts asked a question about does Power BI visualize a graph data set? It's an interesting question. And also what would be the custom visuals that we would recommend to actually do that visualization? My first thought when I read this question was the Microsoft Graph API. If you're not familiar with the Microsoft Graph API, this API just lets you gather a lot of information across different sources from a Microsoft perspective. So Microsoft 365, things of that nature and other applications or services can integrate with the Graph API as well. That was my first thought. So I responded back with clarification and I was proven wrong. This was more about actual graph data and graph networks from just a statistical perspective or, you know, visualizing network connections. From an actual graph perspective, typically you have nodes and edges. The nodes represent those entities of the network and the edges represent the connections between those nodes themselves. So that was interesting. And typically what Patrick and I do, if we don't know something, and this wasn't an area I I was specifically, you know, familiar with. I've, I've heard about it. I've seen it, never really done anything with it. So I went to the source of truth. This is going to the internet search engine of your choice. But when you go to Bing, I searched for Power BI graph data and I got back a few hits. The first one was from Pragmatic Works. Devin over there, he went through a series of going through custom visuals. He called out some of the visuals that I'm going to talk about here. So definitely check that out if you want his thoughts on that custom visual. The other item I found was from Ed Nolan Didoy. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. He did a blog post where he looked at actually how to create a node graph inside of Power BI as well. Armed with this information, I just kind of dug in a little bit and figured it out. Enough of all this talking. Let's head over to my machine and actually show you what I came up with. I just threw together this quick Excel spreadsheet. It was just some data that I could use to then visualize on it. You can see this is, of course, my favorite topic, Star Wars. And so what I did was I based it on, you know, Jedi and Sith and figuring out the connections between those. There are two node classes that I have here. So actually the node itself would be the apprentice column, and then the connections are actually the masters. One of the custom visuals we'll talk about also allows for images. So I put the image URL in here as well, except for Darth Plagueis doesn't have an image. You also notice a column here called links, which has the numbers in there. I just did that from a weight perspective, just to show size and how many connections they actually had. There's probably better ways to do this. I've already mentioned the term custom visual here a few times. From a base Power BI visualization perspective, as of the recording of this video, there's not a an actual base visual that allows you to do this type of visualization outside of possibly the Python and R visuals that are inside of Power BI, you can do this with Python or R. From a Python perspective, you're going to want to use Network X package. That's the one that I found that you could end up using. And from the R stats perspective, you could use a couple different packages. I found TidyGraph and GGraph. There's other things that you have to do to get that working as well. That's not what this video is about. Just know that you can do this with Python and R, or if you're just a regular business user and you don't want to go down that road, there are a couple custom visuals that you can use. Let's check out what's available there. With inside of Power BI Desktop, there's a couple different ways that you can get a custom visual. Under the visualization section, you can hit the ellipsis and in there you can say get more visuals. The other way you could do is from the actual ribbon bar, you can come up here to more visuals and say from app source. That will bring up a dialogue that allows you to then go find a custom visual. And here I'm just going to type in network and you're going to see two that come up right away. One is the social network graph and the other is network navigator chart. The network navigator charts actually from Microsoft itself. Social network graph is not. So you'll have to weigh, you know, how your organization wants to handle custom visuals. But those are two that I'm going to highlight in this video. There are potentially others that may have a cost to them as well. So just be aware of that. These two are free, so you can just use them. And then you can just hit add and that will add those into the 
actual Power BR report and you'll see them below the visualization pane. All right, so just like a cooking show, let's go over to a report that I already put together. And really all I did was just import this data. Really, you just need to have the nodes laid out. So we need to have those connections between them. When we think about the Excel spreadsheet that I showed you, I had a master column and an apprentice column. And so that was the connection that I made. And then I just dragged those into the visuals. So this one is using the social network graph. And so I just put in the master, the apprentice, the image, and then for source size, you'll see that I pulled in that links column and you can see that the data just showed up and you can, you know, play around with these items. You can hover over them and get some other data and then potentially interact and filter these items through slicing and dicing. And then the other one I showed was the network navigator. This is the one from Microsoft. So you can see that it, it shows a little different. It doesn't have the image capabilities, but these are two ways that you can end up visualizing this data from a network graph perspective. So there you have it. There's not a whole lot you need to do to get basic network analysis in there. There are obviously things you can do to take this to the next level, even looking at like the Python and R capabilities. And maybe there are some other custom visuals from a paid perspective that may get you further in terms of what you're trying to do. So just be aware of that. Let me know if you have other ways of handling this. I'm sure there are a lot of caveats to this and there's other tips and tricks that folks out there may know about. Leave that in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.